Hello, my name is Molly Wilson. This is my second year teaching full-time at DeSales. And my first year, so three years ago, I was a student teacher. Uh, this will be my third time teaching seniors at DeSales. And I was very excited to accept my job at DeSales because I am a firm believer in Catholic education. I have been in Catholic schools all of my life and I love DeSales very much. And I'm very excited to teach this course. So last year was my first time teaching this course, taking over for Mrs. Johns. And I have decided this year, especially with this hybrid model, to have a little bit of fun with it. So I was telling the class, uh, the seniors this year, that uh, I've kind of decided that I'm going to modify my plans a little bit uh, because last year was my first time teaching it. Uh, I had a little trial and error. So I think this year I can really perfect it uh, and I can make it my own. You can see on this screen here, I have a calendar kind of mapped out on how I want to do this hybrid model. So if your child is in the white group, they will be looking at the white blocks. If your child is in the purple group, they're looking at the purple blocks. So I will be sending out this schedule week by week for them. Uh, so they're not overwhelmed with what they need to do each day. So let's say uh, they have a math exam that week or a lab for science. Uh, they can just look at this and say, okay, I know what I have to do for homework for English this week. So maybe I can get that done ahead of time uh, and just kind of plan or I can work with them and plan ahead uh, so they don't get too overwhelmed, uh, especially with this hybrid model. It's just very confusing at times uh, and we can kind of work together. As far as reading goes, my expectations for reading, uh, this is an English course, so I will expect them to read. A lot of times I will read with them uh, and I will read aloud or I will provide the audiobook just so that uh, it will relieve some of that stress. A lot of them uh, relate to me, I don't like to read, or reading is not my thing, and I totally understand that. So I'm kind of taking that into consideration, uh, and we will work through that together. Uh, a lot of my assessments in general, uh, I provide alternative assessments. So let's say uh, your child is not a writer. He or she says, I hate writing, I do not want to write, English is not my thing, and I totally take that into consideration. So what I try to do for the most part is provide some alternative ways for them to show mastery. Uh, so maybe they can provide a video or a podcast of them explaining something they read, and then they are able to explain to me, okay, they understand the reading or they understand this character. Uh, and I think a lot of times, especially for this course, uh, that shows me that they're following or they're understanding something. And I think with this smaller class, and I already explained this to the students too, uh, if they're not understanding something or if they're not following, they can just tell me. Uh, for the most part, I'm pretty lenient. And if they're overwhelmed or stressed, that's the last thing I want for them. I don't want them lying awake at night thinking, oh my gosh, I have to read 10 pages for English and that's the last thing I want to do. So that's not what I want, especially with this hybrid model. So I'm trying my best to relieve some of that stress for them. Um, for Zoom, my expectations for your child, if they are on Zoom or if they're at home, I just want them to have any work I assign for them ready for the next class. So they don't need to turn in at midnight. They don't need to turn in at the end of class. Just have it ready for next class, so the next day. Uh, we do read and write a lot in this course. Um, we will be reading a novel. We will do a unit on a podcast. Um, there are a couple of things we will be doing and I'm running out of time. So if you do have any questions, uh, please email me. My email is wilson at desales.co. We can set up a phone call or a Zoom call. Just reach out to me and I will be happy to help. Thank you so much.